Hi, I'm Jamie and welcome to Teachers Tech. Today I want to show you how you can group your rows and columns in Microsoft Excel. This can really help keep things organized. Let me give you a little example here. So in this case right here, it looks like I just have these studio companies listed, but I actually have them in group by rows. So if I go over here, I can open them up now and you can see I can see the top 10 ranking of each one. So I can open them up one at a time. I can close them, pick different ones to expand it. This really saves a lot of room. Let me show you how you do this step by step. Here's the ungrouped data that we're gonna be working with here today. And if you'd like to follow along, I'll put a link to this down below in the description so you can download it and follow with me. So where we wanna go first is if we take a look at the tabs across the top, we wanna to go to data. And we're gonna be looking for outline here. And with outline, mine's a little squished up the way I have my Excel. You might see all three of these uh, at once here. But before I go ahead and select any, I need to select an area that I want to group. So in my case, it's gonna be the under 20th Century Fox. I'm gonna highlight this area right through here. And then if I go up to outline, I just need to go to group here and click group. Now I can go from rows or column. I'll give a little demo with the columns later, but this works best with rows on this data that I have. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. So it doesn't look like much happens, but if I go over to the left, take a look at this right here. I can uh, just click this and notice that 20th century, 20th century Fox is all condensed underneath. So I can open it up by clicking it again. And if I go again, I can go ahead and highlight the area that I want. This time I want to show you a shortcut. If I go ahead and hold Alt, Shift, and then press the right arrow, it goes right to the group here. And now I can select my rows and hit OK. So that's what I would recommend doing it that way. The shortcuts make this a lot faster to do. Control, Alt, right arrow, and we can undo this and I'll come back and show you how we do this. But first, I want to do this to each of these. So I used this shortcut and quickly went down the list. And I just want to show you with up here where it says one and two. So if I click on one, notice it condenses everything. If I click on two, it opens everything up through here. So you can quickly do it that way if we go to one, but then we can open up one at a time if we wanted to do that. So now that we have these here, how do we get rid of them? Well, what we can do is if we go, let's go to this one right here. If I go and highlight the area, the range that I have grouped already, I could go to outline up top and we have ungroup here. So I'll go ungroup here and it's rows, hit OK. And now what you'll notice is that, so if I go click on one, this isn't grouped anymore. So this is gonna stay the same place. I'm just gonna expand this one here. There is the shortcut. If I highlight this, and this is a lot faster, use the Alt Shift and now the left arrow. I'm gonna to get to rows quickly and I hit OK. So I can go through and remove them this way. Now you can do this with columns as well. So if I just go to the second tab here and depending on where I click under what column, I'm just gonna click under movie uh, name and I'm gonna use the shortcut. So I'm gonna use the Alt Shift right arrow and I'll click on columns and I hit okay. So now I have this up top here. So if I hit I can close it so now we don't see the movie name. And I could add more of these to the different columns just like I showed you with the rows. I hope this quick tip will help keep your Excel workbooks nice and organized. Thanks for watching this time on Teachers Tech. I'll see you next time with more tech tips and tutorials.